But you asked me what is Contra. I know, I know. Contra dancing, in my, uh, for me, is just a lot of really happy, really friendly people coming together and doing a really social dance where everybody, you get to listen to live music and you get to dance with a lot of different people and you get to talk and socialize and I think it's like really community event. Contra dancing is getting together with friends and having fun and enjoying yourself. When someone asks me what is Contra, I usually start by comparing it to square dancing because people are more familiar with that. So I tell them that it's similar to square dancing and that it's a partner dance and you progress to different couples, but the difference is instead of being in a square, you're in a column moving up and down. So whenever someone asks me what Contra is, I always tell them, ask them if they've done swing dancing and everyone usually knows what that is, but I always say it's a mix between swing and square dancing, but the biggest difference is you're going up and down a line and you're dancing with new people the entire time. With swing or with square, you're usually within a small group of people, but Contra, you're always going up and down the line meeting new people. If I had to explain Contra to people, and I often do, because I'm frequently recommending it to my friends and family and co-workers, I would say that, first of all, it's not a line dance. So there are lines, but it's not a line dance. It's similar to square dancing. We sometimes do squares. But importantly, it's a group dance. You have partner moments. There's several different figures that you do uh, with your partner. But you're also doing things with groups of four, with the whole line. And there's sort of this connection to the whole room. Everybody's doing the same thing at the same time. When people ask me what contra dancing is, I always give the same answer. I always tell them it's like square dancing, but instead of staying in a square, you go up and down the line. So you meet more people, you're interacting with more people, so it's much more fun that way. I usually tell them that it's like square dancing. Um, there, I, and then I go into the structure of the dance. I say there are sets of four in a line all the way down the hallway and then I use my hands and I say there are, there's your neighbor, your neighbor's partner, you and your partner, and you all dance with each other and at the end you've switched places and you progress up and down the hallway like that. Whenever like, people ask me what Contra is, I tell them that it's square dancing but with long lines and it's, you meet tons of people, it's really easy, they walk you through the lessons and it's a lot of fun. I try to explain to them what it is and, and invite them out to have dances because they're always so much fun and so accessible to beginners, which is, which is one of the main, I guess, beauties of Contra. I would recommend Contra. I recommend it to everybody. My friends are here tonight, and I got them out to go Contra dancing. I totally recommend Contra to my friends and family. If you know me, it's a requirement that you come Contra dancing with me. I run into people and almost every day I'm saying, you should totally come contra dancing. It's an easy dance to learn. If you can walk, you can dance. I try and get all of my friends to come. It's the best. I love it so much. Please come. Once you try it, you'll, you'll love it too. Yes. <laughs>
thank you all for having us here tonight. You've been a great crowd.